In the age of digital technology and the internet, reading of traditional paper books is gradually coming out of use for the average man in the street. Kazakhstan is not an exception from this trend. Those who, in spite of all fashion trends, remain faithful to the good old paper book become smaller. But founder of book blog, Almighty Resident Marina Sharipa believes that it is time for domestic bookworms and bibliophiles to unite. After I came up with the idea to create a book blog called I Book You, we decided to go offline to get acquainted with our readers. In addition, many began to write to me that they have accumulated a lot of books and they do not know where to put them. Well, throwing books away is blasphemy. So we decided to invite our readers to the book exchange, where they can meet, bring their old books to share with other participants. The idea is simple. Anyone can come to the meeting and bring any books that have been read and can theoretically be replaced by something new. Readers bring in the first place, of course, fiction and journalism, psychology books, business books, children's books, books in foreign languages. Organizers usually require that the books were in good condition. It is a sign of respect, both to the book and its subsequent readers. Several book exchanges in Almaty, Astana, Aktobe and Shimkent are under the belt of the organizers. Also, several other actions have been carried out. Book picnic, literally picnic, an interactive book quiz, project blind date with a book. Usually people who are 25 to 40 years old come to us. Among them there are students, retirees and usual readers who take books, bring them back and then read another one. It is a lot of fun, environmentally friendly and in today's realities it is just a good economic sense. Because you don't buy books, instead you just exchange them between each other. Young girls and young mothers are happy to while away the time reading a good detective or adventure novel, especially like the project on the book exchange. However, they were not strangers to more serious literary genres. And some very advanced readers at such meetings specially pick for themselves rare books in foreign languages. It's my first time in the book exchange. I heard many times about it, but I always late for the meeting. On Facebook, I saw that the meeting was today. I picked up a few good books. It's Hap Pintasevich, for example. I love him very much. Then I took She Loves of Death. I read it in Russian. Now I want to read it in English. It is a book by Boris Akunin and her daughter's history. It attracted me with its clear writing on the equality of people. And it says that it is not only about equality, but in general it is the precious treasure. And I was hooked and I decided to read it. Of course, we have many books that were not picked up by anyone. That's why we decided to create strict criteria when we accept books, because many people just wanted to give away books they no longer need. But we try to be very picky and sometimes don't accept books that don't fit our criteria. People sometimes are not happy about that. And we have to explain that it is something that we must do, because we know that the books they offer us are no longer interesting and we will have to store them. Each subsequent campaign for book exchange creates a growing interest in social networking sites. And such meetings are visited by more and more people. This means that traditional paper books will continue to live in the homes, hearts and minds of people of Kazakhstan.